Georgia is part of the race to develop a coronavirus vaccine. A Cobb County company believes it has an advantage because it has quite a long track record. And we wanted to know more about the process. So Joe Hankey stopped by the company's laboratory for more information. Biotechnology company Geovax currently has a list of vaccines for other viruses that are being tested or are about ready to be tested. Some of those vaccines target viruses similar to coronavirus, which could speed up this process. And having a partner who has existing relationships with Chinese health officials, that doesn't hurt either. I'm preparing the cells. Inside Geovax so lab, scientists like Arben Domi infect cells with a virus they are studying and then use their findings as they develop vaccines. They use an approach called NVAVLP that the company's CEO says is efficient in creating a vaccine to be tested and also effective as it often makes a vaccine that is a single dose instead of multiple doses or needing booster shots. Generally, they can create the basis for a vaccine within three months and then begin animal testing. Going beyond that in the clinical is really a function of what regulatory authorities determine is the appropriate protocol to follow. And depending on that, that will determine how soon you have something that may be a candidate to go to humans. Geovax currently has preventive vaccines for HIV, Ebola, Zika, and other viruses either already in or entering clinical trials. Mary Hauser says with the coronavirus, time is of the essence, but they can use research from their past work. This virus is very similar to SARS, and we can build upon the foundation of literature that exists. Um, pertaining to development of a SARS vaccine and apply it toward a new vaccine for this particular outbreak. Working alongside Geovax is BravoVax, a Wuhan, China-based vaccine developer located in the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak. The two have entered an agreement to develop a vaccine for coronavirus in partnership. They have very strong relationships within the Chinese CDC and the Chinese regulatory public health authorities and all. And we have such here in the U.S. on so working together, we think we can move much quicker along with the other entities we brought into this initiative all to try and get a product that's a candidate for testing. And I'm told the timeline for when a vaccine could be ready is very fluid. It could be several months, possibly more than a year. The largest unknown in all of this is how long it will take to receive government approval to use a vaccine on humans. Jeff. All right, Joe, there are a lot of stories circulating about coronavirus, many of them not true. And we are separating facts from fiction to keep you informed. This is really a great resource if you have questions, a great place to go. All you have to do is tap the 11 Alive app.